Uh, Jeroso, starting off, what can you take from the lessons learned on the road in Auburn and apply to this game on the road in Florida? You know, just you know, just execute. That's all we got to do. You know, both statements is loud stating. You know, we just can't let that get to it. We just got to you know, focus on the next play, whatever it is. And like that's the biggest thing. You know, just got to stay focused, play to play. And then when we do that, we'll be just fine. And as an experienced veteran, what do you think is missing for this talented offense? It seems like it hasn't clicked yet, but all those pieces are, are right there. No doubt, we just got to be more consistent. That's all it is. We be more consistent, and everything will fall in place. So I feel like that's our biggest thing is just being consistent. And, you know, getting, getting lined up where we need to be and stuff like that. So I feel like once we all get that, we'll be down packed. <clears throat> and what do you do to motivate yourself through these type of slumps and rough patches? How do you go ahead and get out of those? Just keep going. I just look back the days that, you know, while I wasn't doing nothing, I just say, I don't want to go back there. So just, I just got to push through it, grind through it, and whatever happens, happens. Um, I know you guys had that meeting with Jaden Daniels last week. You know, what has the conversation been like since the Tennessee game? You know, it's been always the same day in and day out. You know, we just... You know, we got to get the ball out and stuff like that, whatever. It's just like, you know, we just got to execute better from all around, from the quarterback, O-line, running backs to us, and tight end. So that's basically been a mess. You know, we just got to we gotta win our one-on-one -on -one matchups and stuff like that. And when we do, the ball will come out and beat up. What's your mindset when you end up in one of those one-on-one -on -one matchups? I feel like we've talked a lot about those lately. Yeah, win. That's all I got to do. If I ever see one-on-one, -on -one, I want to win no matter what it is or what I'm going against. Uh, what was the morale like when Kayshawn got in the end zone for the first time this season? Did y'all celebrate or did you say anything or business as usual? Oh, you know, no doubt. Whenever he got in there, I was happy for him. You know, that was his first time since an injury or whatever. And, I, and I, when as soon as he scored, I went up to him and said, first one since you've been back here, like, yeah, it's been a year. He was happy. I was happy for him. And, like, I feel like now he got in there, y'all yeah, finna see many more of them. Um, how do you guys get yourself on the right path? I feel like these past few years you could kind of, let the season get away from you and start losing more games. How do you prevent that from happening this year? You know, just still, like, just execute. And that's all we got to do. Like, you know, we one team. We're going to stay together no matter what we go through. And versus hit is what, you, what we're going to do next. And, like, I feel like that's the biggest thing on our team right now. You know, we lost the game, whatever. We, not, we put in the past. We're not even worried about it anymore. We're worrying about this week, focusing on Florida, taking one game at a time. So I feel like once we do that, the outcome will speak for itself. How does the rivalry with Florida kind of add to this week's game? You know, like, it's, you know, it's a rivalry, basically, but, you know, everybody's ready for it. We just, we ain't worrying about it too much like that. We just worrying about it's our next game on our schedule. We still got to play ball, still got to do what we do best, and we just got to do our assignments and come out with the victory. We got another one. We got, we got one. Okay. And uh, how's Chris Hilton doing? How's he recovering? Is he uh, communicating with y'all about his process? Yeah, no doubt it is. He was in meetings with us today, you know, being a lawyer or whatever, just in there watching, you know, he got a brace on, so, like, he ready to be back out there. You know, I hate it for him. We praying for him, whatever. Praying that he have a speedy recovery, but healthy and stuff. So, I know he ready. It hurt him, but like I said, we got his back. We always here for him, and no matter what it is. And through all these years, you racked up a lot of knowledge. When you see a open and play like that happen for Jack Besh, what do you what do you go and, and tell a young man like that to lift his spirits? Yeah, you know, whenever when it first came there, he came to sign. Like he was frustrated. He was mad. Like I told him, like man, just let that go. We still got. It was the first quarter, first play of the game. Like I told him, man, we still got a whole lot of ball to play. And so then after that, he just he let it go. He came out, got back on offense, got first downs for us. So like I said, just that mindset of, all right, you have a bad play, just get over it. It was what's next. And that's what he did.